Well, Christian singer-songwriter Matt Mayer has lifted up his audiences with his praise and worship music all over the world. Mayer has sung for three popes. He has hits like Lord I Need You and he is coming to Springfield May 21st where he will be performing at the Pioneer Valley Christian School. Carolee McGrath has a preview. <laughs> His songs lift you up, his talent a gift which he's using to glorify God before audiences across the globe. With songs like Your Grace is Enough and Lord I Need You, heard often at youth masses and conferences, Christian singer-songwriter Matt Marr, a Catholic, is evangelizing and making Catholic music cool. And what's better, he'll be performing at Pioneer Valley Christian Academy in Springfield, May 21st. Marr grew up in Newfoundland, Canada, and later moved to Arizona. The 41-year-old husband and father of three says he didn't set out to be a Christian rock star. I graduated from college in 1999, and I'd done seven years. So if you're a parent watching this and you have a college student who's on the seven-year undergraduate program, don't, don't freak out. Um, I, I was deathly afraid of being a professional Christian. I did not like the idea of graduating from college and working full-time at a church and being a quote-unquote church musician. But I was offered health insurance and a full-time salary, and so I said, well, I'll try it out for a year, and I fell in love on a deeper sort of altruistic level that I was, I got to use the gift that I've been given, which is music, and, and I'd write songs, and then I would immediately see the feedback and the impact that it was having. He first came on the national scene in 2008 with his album, Empty and Beautiful. He's one of the few Catholic musicians to make it to the big time. He's been nominated for many awards in the Christian music industry, and in 2015, he won the GMA Dove Songwriter of the Year. He's collaborated with other big names in the Christian music industry, including Chris Tomlin and Third Day. Marr has performed before three popes, the now saint, John Paul II, Pope Benedict, and Pope Francis, most recently at the World Meeting of Families in Philadelphia last September. Every time the Pope is present, there is something tangibly different in the air. And what I believe it is, is not the man, it's that mystical confession of Peter that was made 2,000 years ago. And that confession just continues to echo through all of history. And the office of the chair of Peter basically stands as a testimony to that confession. And so wherever the Pope goes, he carries with him the echoes of this confession of who Jesus is, that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Mars music is played a lot on 99.7 The Q, the local Christian radio station for Western Mass in Northern Connecticut. He's also a worship leader and has been very involved in the Steubenville Youth Conferences. And singing a song too, like Lord I Need You, which was really, it's a, it's a song about spiritual poverty, you know, it's, it, which is the like at the heart of the human condition. It's this notion of like without God, you know, things are missing. Matt Marr was raised Catholic, but when he was 20, he had a conversion or a reversion. And through his music, he's inviting people to come to know and love Jesus and to be on fire for the faith. My grandmother was a daily communicant and she used to throw holy water on us when we were little kids. So when I was 20, my parents got divorced and I moved back to Arizona and moved with her to make my way to Los Angeles. I wanted to do film scoring. And I started going back to mass with my cousin and she was part of a parish that had a charismatic community and the boundaries of it. And a lot of her friends grew up in that. So they very much had a very dynamic faith and they invited me to start going back to church. And then I started going to prayer meetings, Bible studies. And before I knew it, I had had a very powerful conversion and I think in some ways the foundation of it was there because of my upbringing, but it needed a, it, you know, it needed someone, someone needed to light a match, I guess. Mar says especially during this jubilee year of mercy, he hopes people will find their way back to the Lord. You now it says in scripture, God's kindness leads us to repentance. And I do think it's the overwhelming mercy of God that will lead people back to the foot of the cross. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath.